All right, guys, I finally seen one of my most anticipated movies for this entire year, Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, and here are all of my spoiler-free thoughts. I mentioned this in the first line of my letterbox review, but I think the biggest downfall of the movie is the fact that it's going to be compared to the original Knives Out. And the thing is, it's a 100% understandable comparison because Knives Out didn't really need a sequel, but I'm kind of happy it got one. I want to get the comparisons right out of the way because I do think Glass Onion does a lot of stuff better generally than Knives Out. But I think Knives Out and the writing style, the twists, the turns, the ballsiness of the movie as a whole was just generational at the time it came out. And the fact that Glass Onion not only has that expectation, but for a lot of people is expected to top it is a lot of baggage. Like I mentioned before, some aspects it does actually top Knives Out, and the biggest thing for me is the writing. I definitely think this is way more of a tight-knit script. They do a lot more ballsy things in terms of the twists and turns. This one is also a lot bigger in scale. There's a lot more grand ideas going through. I just feel like as a whole, there's a lot more happening in this screenplay. I also think this ensemble is near as good as the first, but I will say there isn't a Chris Evans level performance in this movie as there was in Knives Out. And just in terms of separating performances, I think Chris Evans and Ana de Armas are still on top in terms of the actors and actresses in this franchise. I do think though Daniel Craig is better than he is in the first movie. I still don't think that tops Chris Evans and Ana de Armas' performance, sadly. Like I mentioned earlier though, I think the scale of this movie is definitely way bigger than the first one, but I feel like that is also a downside of it because the characters in these relationships don't really feel as personal. I feel like in the first movie, you could really understand these character relationships, this dynamic within the family, because it's a family. But here, without giving any spoilers away, it feels like a more broad group of people. And that works at times. At times, I feel like the story really leans into that, and it works very, very well. But for the most part, you don't have that inter-character relationship that's as intense as the first movie. I'm still very torn on if I think Knives Out or Glass Onion is a better movie. I think both movies do certain things really well, but the original one just has some sort of charm to it.